Welcome to Inside Bobcat Athletics. I'm Jordan Chavez, and today we sit down with one of the top performers for women's basketball, Ashley Eze. But first, Brant Freeman visits with three-time conference champion track coach Dana Boone. Thanks, Jordan. Here we are with uh, head track coach Dana Boone at the track and field and cross country weight room here at Texas State. And uh, yes, three-time conference champion coming off of two conference championships in the WAC a year ago, both indoor and outdoor. Off to a great start in the indoor season coach this past week in Houston. Four first place finishes, four second place finishes, two third place finishes. Just overall, take us back to last week in Houston and how you were able to uh, perform last week. Um, it was a good start. Um, we had some really good areas and we had some areas where we definitely need to improve. Um, but overall, it was, a, it was a positive start and it was uh, good to get going this season. It's been kind of anxious since last season <laughs> ended. I know you've had a lot of success with the, your throwers in years past and a very impressive performance again this past week. Taylor Kelly uh, did very well as did Darian Brown. You know, how were they able to succeed last week? We did get a, a new coach, so they had a good foundation. I think he just came in and built on that and they've gotten stronger and, uh, and I think they're just working out some technical things and, and lots of them were freshmen last year so you know it's a learning curve for that so as they come in as sophomores they're much more experienced and they're just adding to their technical uh, prowess in that so what was your assessment of the way your jumpers performed last week the vaulters started off well you know i think uh, for seth arnold it was a good start you know he uh, he was out last season with a kind of a freak injury so to have him back that's a good good opener for him and uh annika newell looked really well uh, looked good as well she um you know opened up with a personal best just off her personal or just over her personal best so it was a good start for the vault um you know i think uh we've got a little bit of work to do in the in the horizontal and vertical jumps right now but we'll be ready when it counts all right, so those are the field events. Looking back at what happened in Houston at the indoor, what about uh, the tr your, your track runners? Um, I think in the sprints we started off, we, uh, unlike last year, we have a little bit more opportunities to score in the sprints this year on, on the women's side for sure. Um, and it was a good start. We had freshman Marika Brown uh, open up and, and get, uh, I think she got second overall collegiately. Um, and she ran just off her personal lifetime best. So she put together two good races and then popped off the 4x4 for us. So it was a good start for her. Um, our hurdlers look good. We um, still got uh, a little ways to go, but you know, uh, one of we added a freshman hurdler, and she opened up with a personal best. So that that was a good start. Um, our male short hurdler opened up with a personal best, and uh, Reggie Reed in the 60 meters opened up with a, a personal best. So the short sprints are coming along. We still have a lot of work to do, but it was good. Um, on the track, I think uh, it was a good start. We we didn't really run everybody in there true events we kind of ran them in off events so it's it's really early but uh, it was a good start it is early again this was the first indoor meet of the season um, and team began performed well given the fact it was the first time that you took the track and, and field what what are the preparations been like I mean we're, we're here right now in the weight room I know the team has a great facility to work with as well outdoors um, talk about the preparation your athletes put into getting ready we had a great fall we really did um, you know we had such a young we have such a young group we graduated a lot of Seniors. So it's going to be interesting to see what really happens at, at the conference meet this year when you have so many young people coming in to replace so much experience that, that graduated. But the fall was good. Um, this meet was uh, very, it was important to us because we basically had sent them home for three weeks and hadn't seen them and trusting that they did the work that they were supposed to do when they came back. So we brought them back about five days before the meet and we got some, got a little bit of work in, but uh, you know, the true test was, uh, let's see what happens when the gun goes off and, and the tape measures pulled out and all of that. So now we know where we are and what we need to improve on. So come February 1st is where, um, with the first week of February, that, that meet is where I really expect to start to see the true essence of what our team is and what we're capable of doing. And February 24th is the conference meet in yes. Birmingham, Alabama, your first year in the Sun Belt. You'll have a few meets between now and then, including one coming up in College Station. Yes. Um, just looking ahead of the schedule, you know, what kind of competition are you up against? Um, you know, the Sun Belt's gonna be an interesting challenge for us. Um, I think as a team, we there's about three or four of us that all line up with the same kind of strengths. So it's gonna be a, an interesting, we're all gonna be battling for the same points and then uh, 
but uh, it, it should be a good good meet, and, and um, we'll, we'll have to see where we end up. But uh, as far as the competition and what we got coming up on the calendar, um, I'm excited about our indoor season. We obviously run at A&M this weekend. There's always good competition there. Um, we're going to go to Birmingham and actually get a chance to run on the conference tra track before we compete, so that'll be exciting. And then I'm really looking forward to the second meet at Texas A&M, in which we actually line up against the nation's best, the uh, national champions in Florida. Um, they got Georgia, they got um, Clemson and Oklahoma and Texas A&M and good old Texas State's in there too. So uh, it'll be a it'll be a true test of, of what our kids are made of. Wouldn't have it any other way. Coach, thanks for your time and uh, best of luck for the rest of the meets coming up this season. Thank you so much. All right, then again, track and field coach Dana Boone. We're going to step aside here in Inside Bobcat Athletics. Coming up next, we'll visit with senior basketball star Ashley Eze. Senior Ashley Eze has battled her way to become the top scorer for Bobcat basketball this year. Brant Freeman sits down with her to talk about her season thus far. Thanks, Jordan. Yes, here we are with Senior Ashley Eze from Houston, and you mentioned the top scorer on the team, 13.9 points per game so far in the season through 15 games. Ashley, again, you, you've been one of the, the uh, leaders for this basketball team here in your se senior season. Take us through these first uh, 15 games, about the halfway mark of the season, and, and how things have played out for you. I think, you know, being a new team, losing a lot of seniors and having a lot of incoming freshmen and basically having seven new players, we trying to make somewhat of a team out of that. So I feel like we're trying to embellish more of a team than, than we had last year. So with newcomers and everything, I feel like we're getting that way through at the halfway point of the season, hopefully throughout the conference. We try to like get each other's um, positive points and know where we want the ball, know who wants this, and know who can work together. And so I feel like we're on that right path. Now you mentioned all the newcomers, seven of them on this year's team, and you mentioned some of the freshmen. Uh, some, two of the new, newer players, uh, Kalia Mays and Jacqueline Jeffcoat in the post, a couple of Big 12 transfers, Jeffcoat from Oklahoma, Mays from Iowa State. What have they meant to the post game along with you down low? A great impact for me, well, because last year it was kind of only me being down low and like suffering from my injuries. It wasn't really a big impact of last year's postseason. So I feel like this year having Jacqueline by my side and Kalia, Kalia average, uh, averaging around six rebounds a game, that's a big enforce down low. And Jacqueline with her three point range, that's a good to widen out the floor. So I feel like with their size and the ability to hit the three and the ability to rebound two gives me a great impact down low. Team starts one and six, kind of a rough start. Yeah. Four and four though since then, and two and two in Sunbelt play so far. On this court in the opener, you hold the perceived conference favorite UALR to 37 points. Uh, talk about the defensive effort you've been able to pull off these uh, first early part of the conference schedule. I mean, it's been really great, you know, like we've stressed defense, like that's been our number one goal throughout the whole season to keep people under a certain amount of scoring points and like, because if our defense is going, that gets us riled up and that gets our offense going. So 
Defense is a high vocal point for us, and if we shut people down, scoring range, we know our offense is going to come. So we focus defense primarily. And the 2 3 zone, in particular, has been yeah. really effective. That's Kosu all the way. She loves her 2 3 zone, and she loves us trying to get it together and to make great stops because we hate when people penetrate and go down our throat for, the, for easy two points. So 2 3 has been working well for us, so we're trying to get that. We have a lot of keys we got to fix during a 2 three, 3 zone. So if we can just get that down packed, then we'll be great to go. You started your career in the Southland Conference, played the WAC last season, Sunbelt so far uh, this season. What are your thoughts on the conference? I mean, it's no different. I don't see a big change. If you put me in a different conference, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to suit up and play for Texas State all day. Well, we mentioned things that have accomplished on this court against Houston in our conference play. You got your 1,000th career point. What, what, is it, what does it feel like to hit that kind of milestone? At first, I didn't even know I scored a thousand points, so it was like, whoa, snap, that's crazy. I mean, anything I can do to take a stay, I mean, I put my heart and soul on the court every time I step into these four lines, so it doesn't matter to me hitting a thousand points. I just wanted to do it for my fans and for the school. It's a big accomplishment, so I'm thankful Texas State has me here to do it. A top 10 in scoring in school history, top 10 in rebounding, seventh all-time at block shots. It's been quite a career for you here so far. Reflect on what your three plus seasons have meant for you being a Bobcat. It's been tough, you know, going through different conferences, going through coaching changes, going through strength and con conditioning changes. There's been a lot of changes throughout my three and only three years. So my freshman, my sophomore, my junior, and now leading up to my senior year, I've been through a lot. But I mean, the best part of it is just to like change is good you know life is change so for me to have all that change impact me but in a positive way to not let it you know bring me down and for me to like climb up above it and you know reach higher I feel like that's a great impact for life not just for basketball but for life itself because life is change and for me to respond well to all those changes and still stand here with my teammates it's no greater feeling than that. It wouldn't be a bad way to end your career either with a trip to New Orleans, would it? Yeah, we want that. We want to go to the NFL. We want to celebrate and hopefully, but it doesn't, it doesn't end there. It's not, it's not a, um, a pleasure trip, you know, it's a business trip. So we got to go there and we got to focus because, you know, it's my last year. And of course, I want to go out with a bang. So I got to rally up my teammates. I know they want to go out with a bang. So we got to do what we got to do to get there first. All right. Thanks, Ashley. Good luck the rest Thank of the you. season. Thank you. That'll do it for this edition of Inside Bobcat Athletics. We hope you join us next time. I'm Jordan Chavez. Eat them up, cats.